Okay, boxing fans, I'm going to do an ultra quick prediction for Hank Lundy versus a Jose Lushigan. I've been tweeting about this fight for ages, but I've just totally forgot when it was. It's this week. So, um, a Jose Lushigan is 31 wins, 14 of which by way of knockout to a single defeat by knockout, 32 fight record. Uh, hammering Hank Lundy is 22 wins, 11 of which by way of knockout, 2 3 defeats only one of which by way of knockout and there's also a draw thrown in there also. It's a really good crossroads fight for both guys. I just say he's getting on a bit. Hank Lundy's lost his last two and if he loses this I really don't know where he goes other than retirement. But um, yeah, you know, this is going to be a good fight. It's going to go the distance. If you look at the power, we're moving into the attributes by the way. You know, neither fight is a massive concussive puncher. If I had to pick one who I'm going to edge, I would say Hank Lundy because he has a higher KO percentage. His last actual knockout victory was in 2011 against David Diaz. He did drop him in there, while a Jose's was actually in 2010 at a lower level. However, he did actually drop Ali Chaber three times in the fight, but he survived the uh, full distance. Looking at the movement, I actually really like a Jose's movement. I think he's good, quite slick. He He's very natural. I think I really like it. He's got a good jab to go with it. You know, very fast, good movement. Like I said, I, I like him. I really like him. Hand speed, full speed. He's brilliant. But he can also, you know, really... He can stiffen those legs really quickly when he when he can't get out the way of the shot. Like you see in the Matisse fight. He was really good. Bigger Jose fan. Um, boxing ability. Uh, Jose is the better boxer, no doubt, in my mind. You can disagree, but in my mind, he is the better boxer. He's got a better jab. He works off it very well. He, f he, I like his movement. Uh, like I said before, he quickly plants his feet. You know when he throws shots, but also when shots are coming in, he plants his feet and he's got great leg muscles, so he can take a good shot. That's a good thing about him. He's good, good whiskers. Against Matisse, for example, you know he got hit with some absolute horrendous shots. In you know for eleven rounds, and that fight was actually competitive. You know I picked um, a Jose to beat Matisse. I know stupidly, and also I a little bit of money on a Jose via unanimous decision I know stupidly but overall I didn't think a Jose really you know should be what's the word I'm going to look for embarrassed no he shouldn't he shouldn't be embarrassed because he kept that fight competitive he fought him toe to toe he at times landed some good shots himself and he's shown he can take some good shots and he's shown how good his chin is so I was quite happy with Jose's performance unfortunately he just wasn't good enough on the night to beat Matisse but he's an absolute you know monster and bulldozer and you know savage I mean he's the type of fighter that you don't want to fight WBC they threw a Jose under the bus there man they threw him under the bus uh, looking at the chin I honestly think that a Jose has a better chin I do you know, Lundy, he's not one for taking shots. He's been dropped by the likes of Richard Abril in a split decision. And that was a split draw. It was a draw, split draw, in which, you know, a lot of people thought Abril won that fight. Uh, he got stopped by John Molina, who got stopped by uh, the guy Brona knocked out. In Anyway, do the guy, the guy Brona knocked out, knocked out Molina in one round, in like, what, 60 odd seconds. So, that says a lot, really. You know, David Diaz dropped Lundy in the fourth, but Lundy came back and stopped him. I think David Diaz was a bit shot then. He, that was after the Mike Pacquiao ass whipping. You know, and also a guy called Danny Williams dropped Lundy in the first. Doesn't always look good for de for him when he takes shots. I mean, it's a good put. You know, like I said, he's got 11, 11 knockouts, so he can he can knock some guys out himself, like David Diaz. So I'm not going to take that away from him, but I don't think he wants to be getting hit on the chin by bigger punches. Luckily I don't think a Jose also is a huge puncher. On the you know flip side, Jose's only been dropped once and he was only stopped once by Lucas Matisse. I don't really hold that against them, you know, if you if you go eleven rounds taking those type of shots that knocked out the likes of, you know, Peterson in three and he we went a whole eleven rounds taking them, you know, that shows he's got a good he's got a good shin. And the referee stopped him from getting up. So I can't tell you that he wouldn't have got up if the referee went, you can, you can try and get up. He might have. He might have got stopped straight afterwards if he got up, or he might not have got up. But either way, you know, I think he's got the better chin. Only been stopped once, only been dropped once. It says everything for me. Uh, moving on to the actual prediction of this fight. 
uh, everything if you look at it you know it points towards Jose Lushigan in or at least in my mind it does anyway it points to Jose via decision or points even the better odds uh, point to a Jose by points however I don't think that's gonna happen you know guys I've got a funny feeling here you know every now and again something just gets gets my stomach going about a boxing fight and I think we're gonna see a robbery guys you know what Jose is not a big name in the USA he's not a big name in boxing he's a Nigerian guy I think unfortunately that puts him further down the pecking order than Hank Lundy sorry it just does you know who's an American he's got a bigger following Hank Lundy you know Jose's 33 Lundy's 30 bit old for a boxer he's 33 you know we've not seen a robbery in a long time or well quite a few months at least which means we're due one in my opinion you know it's going to be on ESPN Friday Night Fights low, low viewing numbers than HBO than stuff like HBO and all the other things so basically they could get away with robbing a Jose because at the end of the day no one's going to care you know the only people who are going to care would be well me and um, a Jose and a Jose's wife or girlfriend I don't know which one it is and maybe his two mates or something I mean a Jose's going to have to win this quite clearly to get the, the decision I think um, the only people who get robbed and then there's outcry ah, like that, is you know Marquez if Floyd doesn't get a fair shout he would get, he would get the exact same treatment and also Pacquiao but you know that just isn't the way it is you know it's tough shit for anyone else and I think that Lundy is going to get a decision it's probably going to be controversial there might be a robbery a Jose wins the fight but Lundy will get it if he doesn't get it I honestly have no idea where he goes Lundy I mean retirement's the only other option really for him if he loses three fights in a row thanks for listening tell me what you think about this fight but I think it's going to be a good fight I'm going to watch it